Hi, hello, wanna come and welcome back to another episode on your favorite Letters Law YouTube channel. So today in this video, we're going to uh, dig a little bit deeper into the Grafana uh, uh, options like what do they give and uh, we're going to see what are all the possibilities that we can uh, use uh, through, uh, through the Grafana. And as we all know, uh, Grafana is an open source observability tool set that allows the users like us to monitor visualize and analyze the data collected from various resources and it typically consists of three main components the Grafana, Prometheus and Loki. Uh, so just to give you a quick uh, introduction about uh, the Grafana. So Grafana is a visualization tool that provides a rich dashboarding and analytics experience and we can create and customize dashboards with various data visualization like graphs, tables and heat maps. We can connect to multiple data sources. Say for example like uh, we can we do have like Prometheus, Graphite, Influx, DB, and any uh, database the data source that you mentioned. It can be connected through Grafana and also it supports alerting with configurable rules and contact points. So the primary use of this is to view the metrics, logs, and alerts to make it easier to diagnose any system issues. And then behind this, we do have Prometheus, which is again a monitoring um, system and time series database that collects and store metrics and it pulls data from configured targets at regular intervals and offers a powerful query language that we call as PromQL to analyze the metrics. So the point that we are going to see here, like what are we going to see today? So we're going to see two things. One is the contact point and the other one is the web hook. So let me uh, take you through the uh, contact point. So what is a contact point? So a contact point in Grafana is a configuration that specifies how and where alerts should be sent when certain conditions are met. So it can be any condition. Um, and this contact point is an essential component for Grafana's built-in alerting system. Again, like we're going to see about the Grafana's alerting system that notifies the users of events or issues in their monitor system. And uh, there are like some key features, I would say, in terms of uh, uh, the Grafana like notification channels. We can specify the medium through which the notifications are, are sent. Say, for example, it can be an email, it can be a Slack, page, a duty, or webhook. So in this now example, we're going to use a webhook as an example. And we're going to see how to use it and uh, we're going to define i mean we can actually define the templates for the alert messages and we can configure the retry policies and time modes uh, for delivering the notifications and also it supports a wide range of integrations to ensure alerts reach the right person on the system so the main purpose of using this contact um uh, the contact points is to en ensure that we do uh, we have or we do timely communication about any critical events or any threshold breaches and also we can enable organizations to respond quickly to system anomalies or performance issues and the second thing that we're going to use here is the web hooks uh, okay so before that let me uh, show you about the contact point so let's see how to create a contact point and let's see what to do with the contact point and before that the very basic prerequisite that you need to have your Grafana installed in your machine. And then uh, the first point of it is I'm going to uh, search for alerting. Alerting in the Grafana tool. And then uh, under the alerting here on the left side, you can see the contact points. So I'm going to click on it. And then uh, the next thing is I'm going to create a web hook. Like I'm going to create a contact point. So click on uh, add contact point or you can create a contact point and I'm going to give the name for this contact point here it's going to be webhook and the integration method so what is the integration method that we're going to use is so actually we do have several uh, modes of integrating like you can integrate it with the alert manager you can integrate it with Cisco WebEx teams discord email google hangout chats like any any messaging system that you mentioned like microsoft teams pager duty pushover slack again like i told you the slack thing that if you even have telegram yes we can even connect uh, the grafana with the telegram as well and then webhook so in our example we're going to use a book so i'm choosing a book and i'm having a test website for the webhook and let me just open that and show you so here is this is the uh website which I'm going to use for this webhook and let me just copy this URL this is the one which I need the link for connecting uh, from the Grafana to the webhook through the contact point and yeah this is the URL here and I have created the uh, contact point with this setting so I have created given a name and then the integration method that's webhook and then the URL 
and when it comes to an optional uh, webhook settings so in case if i have to set up anything like for example the uh, webhook settings it can be a post method or it can be a put method or uh, and if i have like for, for example if you have your uh, production um, access it then in that case you have to give your username and password for this to connect to that machine and the authorization header like in case if you are using any token you can use it and if you are using any bearer so you can use that as well and then the credentials part is you can use in the maximum alerts that you want to connect with the uh, contact point as you can set it and then the titles in case if i want to add any titles say for example let me just give it as like two letters law and then the message could be like letters law alert letters law message letters law alert so you can actually set all these like in, in fact if you this is to differentiate between your other messages from your original messages so that's what we can use it here and then coming to the notification settings in case if i want to disable the resolved messages i can uh, click on this and i can disable the resolved messages so everything else is uh, okay and then the next part is so here on the top of this one uh, in the contact points you can see there is a test button so click on this test one and it will ask me like two options one is uh predefined and the custom so the predefined will tell ask me that you will send a test notification that uses the predefined alert and if i have any uh, defined uh, if i have defined a custom template or message for better so switch to custom notification or message so in case if i want to set up anything like for example uh, i can set up a short summary i can give a description i can give the run url but in our example i'm going to use the predefined one and click on send notification yes the test will to send and i'm getting the green signal and let me open the web hook and let's see um, uh, let's see in that website like what, what has happened what was the message that we got yep so this one was the latest message a few seconds ago yep this was the message and let me click on this who is this okay this needs some validation test alert from Grafana so yes the web hook the contact point has worked successfully and I'm able to get this post request right the send, send notification has worked successfully and I'm able to I mean like it's this the current status of it is in firing mode and that's the reason I can see this notification. The notification test has successfully passed. Then the silence URL, so everything has worked fine. And um, yeah, and yeah, here again the title for this message. Yes, that's a little slow, and the state of it is alerting. And the message is little slow alerting. So what exactly has happened? So what what was this webhook is all about? So this webhook, all we see is a way for one application to send a real time data or a notification to another application where uh, specific events occur so it, it acts as an http based communication mechanism that delivers information to a designated endpoint also in case if you have um, your application you want to send the communication the http based communication you can very well use this one and how does this webhook work so how does it work say for example like uh, when an event occurs in the source application say for example if an alert is triggered in Trafana coming back here so if an alert event is okay let me just save this contact point before it gets deleted so yeah so i have created one and it shows it's unused that's fine we will use it yet and the alerting so that's what you're going to see in the next, in the next video but for now let me show you again uh, we can actually edit this contact point so if i click on this i can edit all these contact points and uh, i can delete if i want we do not want this particular contact point i can delete this and then uh, I can export this contact point. So when I click on this, I can get this. And if I want to import it, I can very well import this and use it as a contact point rather than creating this from the scratch. Yeah. So coming back to this webhook. So what is the, what does it do? So the source application sends an HTTP post request to the specified endpoint. So what did we do is like when we are testing, we actually sent a request. Right? We sent a request to this uh, endpoint URL. And then the post request contains the data about the event typically in a JSON format. So if I come back to the, oh, sorry. So if I come back to the original request, so here you can see, uh, it actually contains the post request. So here on the top of the, on the left side, you can see uh, the post request contains the data about the event, which is typically in a JSON format. And here, yep, it's in a JSON format. So, so 
what action does happen so the receiving application processes the incoming request and performs an action say for example it can be logging it can be sending a message or triggering a workflow so what webhooks do in grafana so what does this particular thing do to us in grafana so the purpose of this webhooks is to i mean like it's it's used as a notification method to send alerts to an external system so that's what the webhook does uh, the webhooks are basically used as a notification method so when an alert is triggered, Grafana sends, yeah, uh, let me enable that one. Yeah, so, so here you can see, uh, so when an alert is triggered, Grafana, on the left side you can see, Grafana sends the alerts details to the webhooks endpoint and the external system receiving the webhook processes the alert and takes the appropriate action, say for example, notifying a team over a chat app or logging the issue or triggering another automated response. Say for example, like uh, you set up a webhook endpoint using a service like webhook site and this endpoint is configured as a contact point in the grafana so what happens is like an alert, alert rule is uh, in grafana is breached and grafana sends a post request with alert details to the webhook so the result is the webhook endpoint logs or processes the alert which demonstrates the notification system works as intended so that's what we can use with the contact point and the webhook so it actually sends the http based i mean a post request with the alert details to the webhook endpoint so we'll see about in the next video about creating an alert so we are going to create an alert using uh, test data and we are going to uh, set some evaluation behavior and we'll uh, we'll trigger and resolve an alert in our next video so until i see you in our next video it's bye bye from us and your favorite little slow youtube channel take care and bye bye